The RAF's airborne capabilities are about to be revolutionised with an upgrade to their KC-30 tanker aircraft. The change will give us a massive advantage during times of conflict and Nine News was invited on board for a look high above the Territory. The most delicate of missions, an airborne refuel eight kilometres up, flying at 770 kilometres an hour. Coming forward on the left. Will turn pretty much as soon as he's stable. In the skies south of Darwin, this is exercise pitch black, a mock fight with FA-18 Hornets. Gently and with remarkable precision, the Hornets edge into place, taking on fuel from the KC-30. If we can't uh, refuel them airborne, a lot of the times those fighter aircraft can't get their payload to where it needs to go. Soon, larger aircraft in the RAAF fleet will be able to receive this service. The KC-30 is preparing for upgrades. A boom attached to the back will be able to offload fuel at a rate faster than 15 litres a second. The boom brings a lot to our capability. So instead of just being the Super Hornet and the Classic Hornet now, we'd, uh, we'd bring on the C-17. A game changer for the Air Force, our Globemasters will be able to aid in humanitarian efforts worldwide. In times of conflict, believe it or not, connecting to the Hornets isn't the trickiest part of all this. For these guys, it's about keeping an eye on that. There can be up to 100 other aircraft in the airspace while the refuel takes place. Despite being plagued with performance issues in the past, the purchase of two more KC-30s has already been flagged. One for the Prime Minister's global travel. Uh, it offers a, a great capability uh, increase to not only us but also our coalition partners worldwide. Blackbird 2 clear, Jessica Millward, 9 News.